Oh, more bad AMD news. Their GPUs are now cracking at the chip. It's bad. Also, goodbye Windows 7. We hardly knew ye. And you want to see the mainstream GPUs from NVIDIA? Well, maybe maybe we got something for you. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. And this has just been not a fun week to talk about AMD. I like they have their X3D chips. Their CES thing is over and done with. That was exciting. But now we get to the nitty gritty stuff is bad situations, which includes the fact that RX 6000 GPUs are allegedly dying because of driver implementations that AMD has rolled out. So this is the previous generation, not the latest stuff. So things like the RX 6800 through the 6900 are reportedly dying because they've been on a specific driver from AMD. This is being reported out of Chris Fix Germany, who has talked about receiving over five dozen AMD cards within the last few weeks that all have the same exact problem. And the only thing that he can narrow it down to is that they were all on the same driver implementation. So a lot of the problems, which I'll encourage you to go watch this video so that you can find out about it, are several of them have GPU cracking. As you can see right here, the GPU die is simply ripping up. It is not actually even staying stable. It's broken. Additionally, they have shorted SOC rails, shorted memory rails, a shorted memory controller rail, where all of the GPUs are having the exact same fundamental issue but the only thing that kind of is the same across all of them is that they were on the exact same driver revision. So Chris Fix mentioning that he's had 60 GPUs come to his shop within the last few weeks, 48 of them had the cracked GPU die, which just seems like a lot no matter what, even if this isn't a super widespread problem, that seems like something that shouldn't be happening. I've never heard of a GPU die cracking before at all. So this looks really bad. We have to wait for more information to come out. Chris Fix in his video very rightfully asked for more information, asked for people to send their details if they've had this problem. If other repair people are seeing these issues with AMD GPUs, please go comment on Chris Fix's video so that you can give him the information that he needs to get to the bottom of it. Chris Fix doesn't mention at all what partner models this are, whether it's made by AMD, whether it's an AIB partner, but there is a serious amount coming in which could potentially indicate that there is a larger problem at hand and could potentially start impacting more cards as time goes on with certain things that are happening. So we just have to wait and see, but it doesn't look good for AMD, no matter which way you slice it on their new products, whether it's pricing, whether it's the overheating issues, whether it's the bad communication on their products failing. And now with the 6000 series, we're starting to see problems crop up. Hopefully it's isolated. Hopefully it's not a big deal. And hopefully, this is what I want, AMD to properly communicate to customers and not to YouTube videos. For them to get ahead of the situation, say, hey, we're hearing reports about this. We are actively looking into it. And then when they've actively looked into it, actually talk about the real problem. Don't just say it's a small number. Don't just say unexpected issues. Actually communicate directly with your customers about what the specifics are. Apologize, say how you're gonna fix it, and move forward from there. That is what a good apology entails. And if this is really just a small subsect, if it's just these 60 cards and it's gonna happen to no more by some random happenstance, communicate that directly. Don't make people figure it out. Don't make people come to Hot News to find out this information. Even though I appreciate you know, people watch it. So that's what I want. Let me know what you think about all this down below in the comments. Let me know if you've seen issues with your RX 6000 series GPUs, and especially if you have, let Chris Fix know as well. And Intel let us know that they can run their CPUs at six gigahertz. They're not gonna tell us which one. This got run at CES, I presume, where Intel's technical marketing showed off a Raptor Lake chip unnamed running easily at Z690 with an off-the-shelf Corsair liquid cooler which is neat. They're not going to say it, but it's the 13900KS. I, I really don't know why this chip has to exist. Like, if Intel's watching this video, I don't know why this chip exists, right? Like, you just launched the 13900K. That one can overclock, like it overclocks decently. This is going to be a mild increment improvement, but it's not going to be enough to, like, get you to the next product tier, which is, like, what the X3D chips allegedly from AMD are going to do. So you're just, like... You're saying like, hey, look at us. We've got like a marginally improved thing. And is that good enough? 
I don't know. And is crypto stocks get off? Mm -hmm. Bitcoin doing better, up 1.3% to be at nearly $17,500. Ethereum up 1.2% to be at 1340. And Dogecoin up 1.5% to be at 7.7 cents. And Tesla down today, another day where it's slipping. It's had a good run over the last few days, but now it's uh, down about 1% to be at 118.85. And Reese, are you up? Are you down? Are you back? Are you onion? I need to know. Hey, welcome back to UFD Deals to bring the hottest tech deals out on the internet. Let's give a round of applause for onion. Thank you onion for having my back yesterday and keeping us up to date with all the latest deals. But jumping into today's deals, we have the Razer Nori Essential, which is a wireless gaming headset with THX spatial audio and a 16 hour battery life going for only $34.99, which is $65 off. And then in honor of stage six load shedding, for those of you who don't know what load shedding is, it's when we have scheduled power cuts here in South Africa. The higher the stages go, the more we go without electricity. Great time to pick up a laptop. Like this MSI E13 Flip Evo. Weird name for a weird laptop with a 13.4 inch touchscreen display, which converts into a two in one laptop tablet. You think, I like these. It's rocking an Intel Core i5 11th gen CPU. 16 gigs of DDR4 and a 512 gig SSD for only $599, which is $900 or 60% off. But if you want something a bit more modern and a bit more powerful, the ASUS ROG Strix SCAR 15 is available with a 15.6 inch 1080p IPS display running at a whopping 300 hertz refresh rate. A GeForce RTX 3060, Intel Core i9 12900H, 16 gigs of DDR5 and a 512 gig SSD. You can pick one up for only $1,269.99, which is $530 or 29%. And like that, the deals are done, but you guys know where to find the links in the video description. And until next time, I'm gonna hand you off back to Brett for the rest of your hot news. Cheers. Thank you, Reese, for the hottest tech deals, allegedly, as long as it wasn't the onion again, which it could be the onion. Onion's great. I love onion. Onion's my favorite. Onion, onion. And what else is my favorite is a Corvette. It's my favorite car ever. If I could have one, I'd be so happy. I can't buy one. I have a family. Like I just, I have no practical purpose for a Corvette, except for allegedly they're making a Corvette SUV, in which case I'm gonna be maybe all over it. I don't think I could afford it, but we're getting a teaser next week. Chevy announcing that the Corvette all wheel drive electric Corvette should be announced on January 17th, which will be the 70th anniversary of the original Corvette back in 1952, which is very very exciting, especially since EV is supposed to be the new wave of everything. It's gonna be cool to see. I'm excited for it. It's awesome. Speaking of things that were awesome and are kind of long expired and have already been updated, what is that segue? It like makes half sense. Windows 7, Windows 8, finally 8.1, excuse me, finally getting deprecated. Let's say goodbye to the king of operating systems, Windows 7, finally getting its last security update. It stopped receiving all security updates as of yesterday. It was initially shut down a few years ago, but then businesses could pay for extended support and that is finalized as of yesterday. So can we please take a moment of silence for the Prince Windows 7? But screw you, Windows 8.1. You were terrible. I hated that. And uh, just so you know, uh, those two operating systems still account for 14% of all Windows PCs. That's awesome, including probably South Africa, who's running like government stuff on Windows 7. That's it's just awesome. But Microsoft not leaving everybody out in the lurch because the final, final update they gave is Windows 7 can now support Secure Boot. So in case you need that, you got it. But Microsoft moving on to a new future with AI, all that stuff. We've talked about how they're gonna be implementing OpenAI into Bing with ChatGPT and Dolly, but they're also working on a voice synthesis AI called Val-E or Volley. Wally, I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce it, but it's a new voice synthesis AI that can take three seconds of sample audio of anybody's voice and then simulate an AI representation of it, which is not necessarily a novel thing because there's already been AI generated voices, but it's the limited scope of which it has for the sample being extrapolated into the larger uh, voice is, is the really interesting thing. It's not clear how well it's gonna perform or if there's gonna be those hiccups that you can hear in AI voices as they're generated that make them worse, but uh, we'll have to see. It's a neural codec language model, and it's been built off of a library assembled by Meta called Liberalite. It has a whole bunch of different features that it used, and we'll have to see. Everything's gonna be synthetically generated. You know what I want, though? I wanted this to be available five years ago when I was working on a video plan that Linus inevitably did himself, where I was gonna do a video where I just completely deep faked myself as Linus. I, I could get the deep fake portion 
animation down where I got his face on my face, but I was also working on downloading all of his scripts from all his videos, feeding that into a language neural net. And then I was also trying to figure out how I could get my voice to be AI generated into his. And I couldn't get the language neural net five years ago to really work out to the point where it was producing anything even remotely coherent. And then at the time, based on my non-programming ability, and I just had to see if there was anything that somebody else made, there was no way for me to do the audio stuff. And that would have, this would have, that could have done the video five years later. Anyways, cool, good stuff, Brett. You know what's gonna be done in the future? Flying on different planets and moons which NASA announcing that they have funding for unusual concepts for advanced space exploration. They're handing out 175 grand to 14 different projects for study grants to figure out stuff like Titan Air, a seaplane for flying on the nitrogen and methane atmosphere of Saturn's moon Titan, which is probably like one of the coolest dang moons out there. I love it so much. Also want to check out Europa. I love those moons. I love them so much. And I love faster frame rates for nothing. Good segue, Brett. Also, NVIDIA, according to CapFrameX, is developing an AI optimized driver that's going to allow for 10% general performance improvement across all cards in all generations and potentially up to 30% in specific generations because the AI is going to optimize what stupid humans couldn't even do well. And stupid humans make graphics cards. And we got some details on NVIDIA's more mid tier stuff like the 4060 Ti and the 4070 with mass production of them being beginning in the second half of February for the RTX 3070. I believe it is RTX 4070, excuse me, and the RTX 4060 Ti. Keep saying 30. It's going to be produced in March, but we're also getting some leaks of the boxes that are going to be done for the reference editions. As you can see, Founders Edition box of the RTX 4070 being leaked out there. In case you're interested in that, we'll have to wait and see for those to come out. It's also weird, like the 4070 Ti didn't have Founders Edition, but the 4070 will. I don't know. I don't have a lot of answers. But I have a lot of endings to hot news because I'm done with this one and I'll be done with the ones I've done in the past too. Every hot news ends in being done.